Whoa, what do we got down there? <laughs> Ryan, we got one steel plate down there. One six inch steel plate, but we got the Texan 457 LSS. We got Nick Nielsen 350 greens. Come on, man. Give us a shot. That's what I'm talking about. This is Rick with 1721. Oh my goodness, today look what we got here. We have the Texan 457 LSS. And not only just any Texan, this is the Texan that won the Extreme Bench Rest Big Boar Competition with Dan Lowe. Way to shoot, young man. Incredible shooting, I heard. But it took a lot to get this away from Travis Patton at Air Gun Depot. I think I, uh, I, I have to do a bunch of things just to get this here for a review. <laughs> just kidding, Travis. But anyway, we're going to work with today. We got the Nielsen 350 uh, grain uh, hollow points that we'll be testing today. This gun is incredible. If you're looking to get a big bore and you want to hunt with a big bore, this 457 right here, LSS, that's it. Done deal. A lot of people ask me all the time about different things. This gun right here has impressed me. I mean, heck, I even shot through a 2 by 4 at 50 yards and split a playing card. I'm like, it just, it continues to be accurate even if I got to shoot through things. And uh, I'll tell you what, Air Force, uh, some of the, well, all their big bores, every one that we've ever gotten here at Shooter 1721 is shooting lights out. With Nick Nielsen ammo, uh, that's what I've been using slugs. Nick makes some of the best slugs. Is my opinion, everybody. So, my opinion, Nick makes some of the best slugs out there. And uh, all the Texans that I've ever used on uh, Shooter 1721, that's what we've used. And I've had great results, as you can see back through all the videos. But that's enough talking. Let's get this Texan out there, and let's get to shooting. Woo! Well, here we are at the bench shooting a Texan 457 LSS. A couple things uh, I want to talk about. The weight's 8 pounds. Barrel length is 34 inches. Uh, you're looking at, with this gun, the potential of like 600 foot-pounds of energy. So I want you to think about that. That's pretty amazing. Overall length is 48 inches. And this is suppressed. And as you can hear on this video, it's not that loud. Its accuracy is super impressive. We're going to shoot 50 plus yards here. Uh, we're trying to show hunting application like, you know, I don't want to be showing like past 100 and stuff like that. We want to show, if you're going to take big game, you're looking at that, but you could easily knock a coyote out at 300 yards with this. Easily. It has enough accuracy even at 300, 200, you'll, you know, 200 is too easy for it too, to be honest with the Nielsen 350s. So, we are using the leapers today, uh, UTG uh, 3 to 12, just a simple basic, because I use a, not a high power scope, like I'm not going to 20 magnification or anything like that. I shoot on 10 and 12 a lot of what I do. So, we're going to shoot these Nielsen's here and see how they do at 50. We're getting really good results. Let's see what we get here. We got her filled. The fill pressure on this, it says about 3,000, and it has a carbon fiber tank that's 490 cc's. So you can fill, I, I can fill just a hair past that, past that 3,000, just a little bit. And uh, and let's take some shots here. The feet per second we were seeing is around 814 to 830, somewhere around there. But with a 350 grain slug, you can do the foot pounds of energy math for yourself. So. I'm going to turn my hat around. There's a reason for that. Because the Texan likes to bark. Alright, let's get in here. Let's get situated here. Okay. Okay. That came out pretty hot, Ryan. Yeah, it did. you hear that at 200 hit that dirt yeah. holy cow oh my you're barking today oh my it's 
and you can see I'll point this out so you're gonna watch this uh, how this went so do you see the first two are basically touching and you see as the pressure goes down you, you'll drop just a little I did that on purpose I didn't want to shoot like the perfect group which this gun will do uh, what you're looking at down there is you'll see I used the same aiming point bam bam and then you'll see that drop on the third but at you know we're looking at 50 plus yards we're talking that dropped uh, just a half inch so on that third shot I did this on purpose so you could see so everybody that gets a big bore you're getting one of these you can see how that pressure works and it's typical with the big bores you're going with that high fill that second one's a nice follow-up which is real tight to the first one and then the third one does that drop so don't anybody sit back there and well that didn't shoot same hole well yeah it can if I wanted to I'll just aim different but I did this on purpose so everybody could see how the big bores work well there you go there's our three shot group which like I said if you want you can shoot in the same hole with this this is an amazing air rifle for hunting Ryan I wouldn't be afraid to take this anywhere with us no, you know what yeah it is the the big bore yeah. to me yeah this is uh this is something until somebody we see other people come out with stuff you know but uh the texan lss i mean as of the end of 2019 yeah right best big bore. this is the best i mean this is the most accurate uh big bore i that i've shot right i'm serious well, I'll tell you what, that was unbelievable today. Of course, there's a lot of stuff that we already knew about this 457 Texan. Oh, my goodness. I was like, well, the shot group at 50-plus yards, we knew we were going to shoot something super tight. We wanted to show you what uh, was happening with that. And then also the feet per second. We, we we wanted to show you in this video the feet per second, what it started out at. So the 350 started at 823. I think there was an 814 and a 798. I think that's where we ended up. But it shows you how what I was talking about, that drop off there. So you can see it on in, with the chronograph. If you're looking to get yourself a hunting big boar, come on, guys, right here. Airgun Depot has them. I uh, can't thank Ryan and Travis enough for sending this out for us for a review. <sighs> yes, I got to send this one back. Ugh, that kind of really breaks my heart. Guys. It is Christmas. It's only a couple of days before. I can guarantee you, Ryan and Travis are smiling and sitting there laughing right now. This is Rick with Shooter1721. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Those guys.